This video is going to be a short video showing you how to make holes in SketchUp. Uh, this came from a student question, uh, so I'm going to just cover it here. It's actually really easy to, to make holes uh, or, let's say, projections in objects. Okay, so I'm going to show you that here. Um, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I usually draw it on the ground to start. That's just the way my brain works. And I'm going to type in again with numeric input. Let's say 12, 24, enter. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to use the push-pull tool and move it up and make it, let's say, 3 feet tall. Okay, so I have an object. I know that it's 12 by 24 by 3 feet. I like to immediately group it. This is good practice. Make group with a right click. Um, two finger click if you're using your, your trackpad. Okay, now I can't edit it. If I go to push-pull, nothing happens. Again, I double click it. Everything grays out. The world is gray. And now I can push pull, okay, and edit. If you want to make a hole, you have to be in the group you're editing, okay? So I'm in that group, and I can tell because as I move around, my different faces are lighting up. Now I'm going to put, like, a, let's say I'm going to do a 6 by 6 inch hole right there. I like to use the line tool. I'm going to mark the center point. I'm going to go down 6, enter. And I can go across with the green line, and I'm going to go 3, enter. I'm going to go down with the blue line. 6, enter, come back, 6, enter, and up. See, it's actually snapping to it, but I still don't trust it, so I'm going to go 6, enter, go back to the beginning. And you notice how this line is now skinny. This line is thick. The thick line doesn't do anything for you. The skinny line lets you push that into a new shape. See that? Okay, I'm going to delete this extra line because it doesn't help. And now I can either push out, and I can go like 12, enter, or, to make a hole, you just push in the thickness of your shape. Since this is 12 inches, I, I like to go past it so I can see it. I go 12, enter. And if I turn my world, I can see there's now a hole. Okay? And you can do that, you know, again and again and again. I can make a hole at the top and make it merge with this hole. Um, I could go inside this hole and I could make a hole there that goes through, or I can make a projection that comes out, and so you can kind of go forever. Um, I'm going to click back out, so I'm out of the group. Okay, so now it lights up blue, which means it's grouped. And I'm going to show you what happens if you forget to go in the group to, to edit the group. Let's say I'm in this thing, and I'm going to do the same drawing of a square. Notice how the line's thick, so that should be your first clue that it's not going to work like you want. Yes, I can still do this but it's not part of the group. Okay, if I do that, and I and I work on this object, it's not including this thing, because it's not grouped with this. Okay, if I want to push this in, it just doesn't work. So if you ever get this and you can't get a hole, it's because you forgot to edit the group. Okay, um, always edit the group. See, this is grayed out, because this is not part of the group. Draw whatever you want to make as your hole. Push, pull, 12, enter, and I can see there's a new hole there, okay? Um, and this is glitching because what I have is a um, like a plane that's on top of this plane, and they're occupying the same place in space. So, like, if I move around, I don't see it, I guess. But if I double-click it, this is outside the group, this is inside the group, and I'm seeing it's kind of glitching out. That is another clue that you messed up. So then you want to get out, delete this thing, double click, build what you really wanted in there, push, pull it back, 12, enter, okay, and there's holes. That's my short video on how to cut holes in shapes. Works the same way with circles. Um, you could draw a line like this, and you could push, pull that. Okay, I can also snap to the back corner and it goes away. Um, I think it's better practice to go 12, enter. Um, that's it. You know, you could do all sorts of, you could like go make any shape you want and that, sh that line becomes kind of a, a cutting tool. I'm going to just snap it to the back corner and you can see how I cut it off. Okay. There's uh, my video on how to cut holes or cut shapes off of other shapes.
Okay, I'm going to get back out of my group, and that's the end of the video.